Holy crap, this place is huge! Is the medicine chest in his room? Aha! It is. It had nothing in it. <sighs> Alright, so I got an anti-demon grip spell and an alphabet. I suppose we should probably try and find Willy. Or maybe go and take a look at the tree. The, th the tree that magically sprouted up. In whatever it's called. In Mad... Mardinius Plaza? Oh, we are on Lanilor, Lanilor, Lanilor Lane. Which is where Willy's house is, so... We should see him soon. Why am I yawning so much? Seriously, I've not even been up very long. Do I have any messages? Or emails? I don't have either. That's depressing. Oh well. Right, Willy, where the fuck is your ass? Probably somewhere. Who are you? Hey, I know you, do I not? Dragon Knight. Oh, fortunate hour for us both. I am in need of aid, and you will have the honor of assisting me. Humbly do I accept your proposal. It will be a pleasure. Marvelous! I knew you'd not pass on a chance to help Helion, the peerless healer. My potions are a legend, and have saved the lives of scores of champions. But I seem to have run out, and it's such a bother having to go and fetch them. You, however, are an accomplished adventurer, and I'm sure you fetched all sorts of things in your day. Quite so, and I'm sure I'll have no problem retrieving them for you. Marvelous. The potions, five of them to be exact, are in a cave of sorts, close by the city gate. I'm afraid it might have been swarmed by undead, though. Forgot to mention that. I oh, slammed well. the hatch shut and locked it with the key I found next to it. Here you go. You'll need that. Best of luck. Good day. Blah blah. Okay. Willie's house. Nope. That's just Chantel. That's rancid. What the fuck? Tom? <laughs> oh, right. He actually has. Um. He's like the merchant, I guess. Still trying to find fucking Willie's house. Looks like I'm not getting in. What the fuck is this? Oh. And his oh my god, so many people. We champions will have to fight a foe more pernicious and deadly than this Dragon Knight. It is indeed a most oh my god. yet prestigious pleasure to make your acquaintance. Pray, may I, Astridax, suggest a highly piquant proposal, the positive conclusion to which will nominate us both as the beneficiaries of considerable copiousness. If the reward is as extensive as your vocabulary, I'm all ears. Capital. Here is the notion I want to adduce in the, I think, indubitable hope it will meet with your most ebullient approbation. I am a necromancer, a connoisseur of the deceased, a puppeteer of those in the most precocious state of worm-caressed Habitude. New experiments leave me in need of a triad of jewels that adhere to individuals who only quite recently did end their somatic existence, and by means of which I can bind their spectral quintessence, thus rendering me their de facto master. Bring me these gem set desiderata, and I promise you a most generous guerdon. <laughs> you lost me at capital. Stand by that promise, and I'll see what I can do. Here's to an expeditious fruition of your quest. What the fuck kind of words, man? You're gonna confuse me. Expeditious expedition, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, this could be Willie's house. Willie's. For Tom, knock once. For Hansel, knock twice. For Laniel, Laniel, knock thrice. <laughs> wow. Okay, Rancid, I'll accept your quest too. Oh, I beseech you, help me. Help me. Do I have a special I'll help you whatever it is sign above my head or something? No, but it's just that the champions don't do anything for us citizens. I want to retrieve my mother-in-law's earrings, you see, but the playhouse, it's haunted. Ghosts ain't gonna hurt you. 
Though the Walking Dead might. I didn't even think of those. Oh, God, what to do? They're all dead in there. I can hear them whisper. They're plotting my doom or something. Damn that Mara, the woman never likes me. But I need those earrings. They're valuable and I'm broke. Please bring me those jewels so at least I can buy a loaf of bread. You know, if you want some bread, I can give you some. Oh, that's very kind, but I'd rather have those precious earrings if you don't mind. <laughs> I have to take my leave. I understand. God damn, so many fucking people needing help. Well, wanting help. Whoa. Well, that's not. What's his face is? Ooh! Alright, so we have Lanalar Lane Shrine. I have a feeling Alaroth is huge. Oh my. Yeah, Alaroth is huge. <laughs> wow. None of those have. Nope. I'm looking for fucking. What's his face is? Oh my god, there's two quests here. Willy! Show them champions what soldiers we are. Nah, totem is Gracie, the Dragon Knight. I am Ireb, and this is my brother Nathirak. We are goblin outcasts. Come here to live a civilized life away from the tribes and backward shamans. <laughs> Last time I talked to a goblin, its its head started a separate life moments later. A pleasure to meet you. More so than Aquila, the champion captain who is addressing his men. We want to fight for Alaroth, but that misbegot will not allow it. Why is that? We do not look like warriors in his eyes. The nerve. We, who are known as the brothers of the spear. Trolls ran when they saw us in the woods. I have an idea here. The dragon must be clever, no doubt. Very clever. Convince Aquila we can fight, and our gratitude you shall have. In the name of the old toad tailed totems. Who is Aquila? <laughs> These bodies are potentially of great interest to science. Well, I will more than potentially end up in a cell if I don't burn them like the captain said. But what's a few days of potato peeling duty against the advancement of the healer's knowledge? Well, I think I'll answer that rhetorical question with a big bonfire. Go on, get out of here. Dragon Knight, please stop this fool before he destroys these perfect specimens. Think of what we could learn. This healer is correct, my dear champion. Their research might even save your life one day. Uh, if you say so, sir. Pity, though. I love watching them burn. Praise <laughs> the divine. The voice of reason sounds louder here today. Thank you, Dragon Knight. I will start to work without delay. Good. Get the fuck out of here. What's in this chest? Bollocks. Well, bollocks aren't in the chest, but you know. Is that Aquila? Aquila. Okay, it's loading. Business brief, Dragon Knight. For I have much to tell these soldiers. I talked to some goblin brothers. They seem pretty eager to join the defenders of the city. They're a fine pair of chaps, but have you seen them? I don't believe for a second they were famed warriors amongst their kin. Should they have weapons and harnesses? Show they're ready for war? Then perhaps I would reconsider. Until then, I will not allow them to join the champions. Unarmed, they would be a danger to my soldiers and themselves. Should Damien and his armies break through... So, basically we need to tell them that they need weapons. If only I still had a child of Ouroboros returns. Have you convinced Aquila? We will be able to join the champions. Aquila's main concern seems to be you are missing equipment. But it was the champions who made us hand over our weapons when we entered the city and pledged to live like humans. Uh, there must be goblin weapons in the city somewhere. Oh. If only I, still had my own I just remembered where that would be. There's a goblin selling stuff. I can probably buy off here we go. Him. Khan welcomes you, scion of the world. I hope you have brought much gold and riches for us to trade with. 
Would you happen to have traditional goblin weaponry in stock? Such things are forbidden in Aladot. But for a few gold pieces, I might actually a few. find some hatchets and armor. Wonderful. The gold coins hear their sweet rustling. I was out to buy hatchets and armor and stuff. Oh. So it was 11,000 gold to purchase the goblins, armor and weapons and stuff. That's pretty good to be honest. The name of the old George, the child of Ouroboros, we will be able to join the Here you go, genuine goblin weapons and armor. Praise be the totems. We shall sacrifice our slain enemies in honor of the dragon. We will don our cleavers and breastplates and so convince the captain. Follow us, friend. Your word will certainly serve to sway him. In the name of the old chop. Yeah, they definitely look a lot better. Is there more you need know? Do you reckon you will be able to fend? Oh wait, no. Between you and me, I don't give us a chance in hell. But that would make for. I can hear them getting closer. <laughs> Still. Miracles have happened before. And in any case, we'll take plenty of the bastards with us if they dare face us in combat. I'll leave you to your talk then. So they do. Miraculous change of appearance, I must say. We are ready, Captain, to stand by the champions and defend the healer's city and her tribe. Good. Your first order is to patrol the street alongside my soldiers. Go on then. May your gods give you strength and courage. Yes, sir. May death be quick and cruel for all the Black Ring. Hmm. That was a fairly easy um, quest. Quite a fun one, too. All it really cost me was just to spend a bit of money. <laughs> but it was quite a fun one. Willie's house. We're going to do this thing for Willie. Which is a, this supposed assassin inside his house? We need to kill. Willy, Willy, I own your house according to the statutory decrees of the city, as is written in the Grand Charter, Chapter Eight on Property Laws, Paragraph Forty One, Subsection Twelve B. Oh. But the contract was written on the back of a Madame Eve's No Clothes Allowed Soiree invitation and signed with a drawing of a ducky. The material is inconsequential, and though the substitution of a crude hieroglyph for an autograph might require the attention of jurisprudence, I remind you that we shook hands on the matter, an act that is deemed to be binding as is stipulated in Appendix 5D to the aforementioned subsection 12B. I... I... don't recognize the authority of the Assassin's Guild. That's right. You are not subject to the laws of Rivalon. And, my friend, a Dragon Knight will certainly agree with me. Yes, I was wondering when this silent bystander was going to join the discussion. Tell me then, in whose favour would you rule? Far be it from me to set aside the legislation of the land, as you bake your bed, so you must lie in it. Will you? Outrageous! Swindlers! Thieves! My home! My beautiful home! Bravo, Dragon Knight, bravo. I do not think there is reason for hostility between us for the moment. I do hope you agree. And as for you, Willy, you have a half an hour's head start before I send my best man after you. He has a special set of knives. He loves those knives. Wait, are they actually Assassin's Guild then? Oh well, whatever. Yeah! Wisdom many lack, Dragon Knight. Most of the dull brains in this town would never consort with us assassins. No, oh, you are actually. I can talk with all who have power and money. Oh, very pragmatic of you. I'm sure I won't disappoint. One acquires many riches in my line of work, and for the right price, I will be happy to part with them. Just say the word, and with covetous eyes, we shall compare inventories. I realize you and the champions must be sworn enemies, but wouldn't it be in your best interest to defend the city? I don't believe so, no. 
Damien will conquer, and he will be just another ruler whom we can profit by. Either we join his ranks and reap the benefits of conquest, or we keep moving in the shadows and take them from him. The champion's time has come, but we will remain active either on the very scene or behind the stage. I have no time to barter at this moment. No rush, Dragon Knight. No rush. Okay.